Starting at the front seats, start by moving your seat as far forward as it will go. Then remove the two E12 external torque mounting fasteners at the seat rails as indicated by the red arrows. Once you remove the rear seat rails, move the seat as far back as it will go. If you want, remove the plastic trim pieces by pressing the release tab, green arrow, and sliding them off the seat rails. I usually leave these on the seat rails. I will highlight how to remove the left side seat. Removing the right side seat is similar. With the seat all the way back, remove the two E12 external torque mounting fasteners, red arrows, at the seat rails. This photo shows how I access the inner fastener. It seems like a tight fit. However, with a 6 inch extension, you have easy access. Once the seat belt and fasteners are removed from your seat, tilt the seat backwards. Then disconnect the battery negative cable. Please see our tech article and video on battery replacing for further assistance by following the link at the end of this video. There are a total of four electrical connectors and one airline to disconnect. Start at the inner yellow connector, squeeze the release tabs, and pull the connector straight out. Then work your way down, red arrow, to the next connector until they are all detached. Pull the air line apart at the junction as indicated by the red arrow. Now you can remove the seat from the vehicle. Cover the door entrance strip with a towel or the floor mat, red arrow, to protect it from damage. Then remove the seat from the vehicle. To install, reverse the removal steps. Rear seat. Start at the left side seat cushion. In front of the cushion is a small plastic release lever. Pull the lever up to release the seat cushion latch. Fold the seat cushion forward. With the seat cushion folded forward, pull the upper rod, red arrow, up while pulling the latches, green arrows, off the lower rod, yellow arrow. Remove the seat cushion from the vehicle. With the seat cushion removed, you can now replace the seat cushion linkage. Start by removing the two plastic trim covers just below the seat cushion near the footwell. The green arrow points to where you pull it to detach the cover. This photo shows the left side outer. Repeat for the left side inner. Then remove the 10 millimeter fastener that was covered, red arrow. Repeat for the left side inner. Next, remove both upper 10 millimeter fasteners, red arrows, Slightly lift the seat cushion linkage, yellow arrow, and remove the plastic trim piece, green arrow. Now you can remove and replace the seat cushion linkage. Repeat these steps for the right size components if needed. To remove the rear backrest, start by removing the T45 torque seat belt fasteners, red arrows. Working at the side backrest cushion, remove the 10 millimeter fastener, red arrow, Repeat this step for the right side. Lift the seat cushion up, red arrow, and detach the clip, green arrow, from the mount, yellow arrow. Repeat this step for the right side. Fold both backrests down, then working at the center of the backrest, pull the trim cover off, red arrow. Next, remove the T30 torque fastener, red arrow, then open the cover, green arrow, to expose the seat pivots. You can now remove one seat backrest section at a time. Fold the backrest up as you pull the pivot, red arrow, out of the mount. Note the flat section on the pivot, yellow arrow. This has to be orientated vertically to allow removal of the pivot from the mount. With the pivot removed, slide the opposite end pivot out of the mount, green arrow. Once out, remove the backrest from the vehicle. To install the rear seat, reverse the removal instructions. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.